So today I'm going to go ahead and install the Gen Sissy Bar that I bought. There's the mounting brackets to mount and the bolts and instructions. And over here is the Sissy Bar, which I'm leaving wrapped to make sure that I don't scratch the bike. And I want to wait to show you guys. So I'm going to also change the antenna to get rid of the big three foot whip antenna on this bike. Um, that way I don't have to worry about walking into it and stuff anymore. So the first thing I got to do is pull the bags off the bike. So you just lift this cover off and you can see the basically uh, nut or bolt, whatever you want to call it, sides to unscrew the stock antenna and take it off. And then I actually had this on there so the stud sort of stayed in there, but the new one just screws right on. And I did put the washer down there. Get that on there nice. And that's it. Little antenna. Don't have to worry about kicking all the time. So they mentioned to tape these eyebrow covers. So when you take the two bolts that are located on each side here, that it does not just fall off and it holds it in place. So when looking at the instructions, you'll see the diagram that explains how to do the spacers and the washers. So over here, you can see that I've got them set up on the way they'll go where you have the 5 8 inch spacers and then the front has an additional quarter inch spacer and then the bracket and then the washer and the back has the 5 8 2 quarter inch and then the washer and that's the way it'll be arranged with the brackets in between mounted to the bike. So here you could see that I had the 5 8 inch spacer, the quarter inch spacer, the bracket and the washer. And then here on the rear, you can see I had the 5 8 inch spacer, which I stuck in first, then held the two quarter inch spacers up while I fed the bolt through the bracket with the washer on it and Loctite everything. And that's how you basically get the bracket started. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up and then work on the other side. So I forgot to mention the orientation of the brackets, which is pretty easy to figure out. You can see the front slips over the spool and the back drops over the back spool and then on top the indication is it has a 17 degree angle back so you can sort of see that where the sissy bar mounts so the end of the sissy bar is threaded and they give you these nice big bolts to thread in the bottom once it's on its mounts as you can see they just thread into the bottom so let me go ahead and put this on the mounts and thread these in with some blue loctite so I had some trouble. I had the brackets tight to show you guys. And then I loosened the brackets up according to the instructions. Then tried to thread in these large bolts here for the sissy bar. One side was not hard to do, but getting the opposite side, it would always want to cross thread. And the bar is a one inch bar, so it's extremely hard to pull on that and line everything up. So I took the whole assembly off threaded in the large bolts about three quarters of the way so I know I wouldn't cross thread them putting them back on and then use the spools to line up the brackets tightened the smaller bolts and then went back and tightened the larger bolt once I did that it was actually quite easy to install that way which is not the way the instructions read but that worked for me. Um, the bar seemed to be just maybe a little bit off and then maybe that was the issue. But most custom things you get are not perfect. So I don't really think that's a big deal at all. Besides that, this thing is extremely strong. So there it is with the sissy bar on it. Let me go ahead and put the bags back on and I'll take it outside and show you what it looks like. Mm -hmm. 